Lincoln Quad on the Indiana State University campus is closed down as demolition is in its near future. Since news of this broke, students have been strolling down memory lane. News 10's Richard Solomon is live on the ISU campus and he shares some of the stories he was told today. Susie, the Lincoln Quad has been home to many for 50 plus years. And one Sycamore I spoke with today told me she has a bittersweet feeling knowing that her old home will soon be torn down. This may look like just a waste of space to you, but for Sarah Gage, she called the Lincoln Quad home her sophomore year. My memories of the place were actually great because I lived with my friends and we had heavily decorated it. The quad was built in 1969, and just like everything, it's met its end. It wasn't a surprise to Gage, actually, when she heard the news. I saw it coming, actually. It looks like it really wasn't renovated, and I completely understood it because it's best to, like, be safe and keep the students out of harm way. The quads held about 800 beds, and some I spoke with say when it was thriving, it was like a community area here at Indiana State. And Brian Duncan will make sure this area doesn't go to waste. He's the executive director of capital planning and construction. Duncan says they'll turn this area into an open outdoor green space to make sure it still sees foot traffic. It's going to be very difficult to renovate this complex. So green space is needed in this area. I think it'll be well used and it could be an opportunity for for other structures in the future. But Gage says the quad will forever be remembered. A part of me, of course, will be sad. Just like those are like some of my favorite memories there. I can agree with ISU just tearing it down and rebuilding something else on it. Kind of like everything else, COVID-19 did push back plans for demolition on the quad. So coming up at 6, I'll update you on when work could start here. Reporting live at ISU, I'm News 10's Richard Solomon. Susie, back to you.